Guys, we are at one of uh, Scottsdale's premier neighborhoods, uh, golf community, as you can see, which is amazing, but a lot more than just that to offer. So if you want to know more about McDowell Mountain Ranch here in Scottsdale, Arizona, stay tuned. We are going to get after it right now. Let's go, guys. So guys, we're right now headed into the uh, amazing mountain uh, community of McDowell Mountain Ranch. And per its name, it sits right at the foothills of the McDowell Mountains, the beautiful McDowell Mountains you can see right here as we are pulling into the uh, amazing master plan community. It is 3,200 acres with 26 neighborhoods that was developed at the beginning of 1995. So it's not that old. There are over 4,000 homes in this uh, master plan community with over 14 builders that collaborated to build out McDowell Mountain Ranch. And again, it's tucked right at the foothills of the famous McDowell Mountains that run on the northeast side of the valley here. Population is 8,243 people to be exact in McDowell Mountain Ranch with 3,601 households and 841 of those households uh, having children. So. It actually overall is a very family oriented community with a lot of uh, things going on and uh, just the reason why there's not as many households with kids is because you have a lot of second homeowners and snowbirds that actually uh, actually populate most of the townhomes and uh, condos that are located within McDowell Mountain Ranch. So let's talk schools in McDowell Mountain Ranch. So right here is the Desert Canyon Elementary and Middle School combo. Um, it's actually a highly rated school. These schools in McDowell Mountain Ranch right here are uh, rated 9 out of 10. So um, very highly rated and uh, a place that a lot of people actually send their kids even through open enrollment when they're not living in McDowell Mountain Ranch. You get a good view. There's some kids on recess right there. And we're going to go ahead and roll right down here. School is in full effect, guys, right now, as you can see. Um, but you, but what's nice about Arizona and most of the schools, you have these open campuses that have um, buildings that you walk to and from outside. So kids are able to walk around, get some fresh air in between classes and activities like recess and things of that nature. You have some ball fields here uh, that you can see, and then we're just going to uh, pan around here in the parking lot and go out the other way. But Desert Canyon is an amazing school located right inside McDowell Mountain Ranch. Okay, so right here on our right hand side, this rustic building right here is actually the Arabian Library. Uh, so it's a public library uh, that's run by the city of Scottsdale and a really cool uh, setting. Look at that. You can go here and obviously as, any, as with any library, you can rent movies and DVDs for free, books of course, or you can go in there and study um, with books and they have of course free Wi-Fi while you're doing so. That's the Arabian Library located in McDowell Mountain Ranch. Okay, now up here, again, Desert Canyon Middle School has uh, a bunch of fields uh, for sports. Okay guys, we are standing here at the top of the McDowell Mountain Ranch Aquatic Center, which is probably the best deal in town when it comes to uh, aquatics and even some fitness, okay, general fitness. So as a member of the Aquatic Center, which by the way, you do not have to live in McDowell Mount Ranch, you can live anywhere. It's actually operated and ran by the city of Scottsdale, but guys, for a public aquatic center, I'm sorry, I haven't seen too much better. This is almost like having a resort in your own backyard for a nominal fee. I think it's like a little over $100 a month to belong here. It's not much at all, okay? So check this out. Over here you have you have a ton of swimming lanes, Olympic size. Um, they can go 50 yards or 25 yards, either way. And then in the back, they're doing a pool remodel right now, but they got a kid's area with a splash pad um, and just a great place for kids to mess around in the summertime. And then behind it, you can't see it, but behind it, all around this whole area back over there is a lazy river. Like you're at the JW Marriott Five Diamond Resort, right? It's amazing, a lazy river. And then over here with um, 
in that enclosure right there, you have two water slides, which is amazing, right? Covered water slides, you can go down um, and you come out in the back end. They have lifeguards on every single part of the pool when it's, in, uh, when it's in operation, obviously. And then you have the diving boards, right? You have high dive, low dive. And let me tell you guys, that high dive, I still got it. I can do the high dive and do a flip, right? Without breaking my neck at age 40 something, right? We'll just keep it at that. But um, I love the high dive as a kid. I love the high dive and the low dive. And so some of you guys who are a little more thrill seekers, that's actually kind of fun to go off of if you have a, uh, a birthday party here for the kids or whatever, which is a great place to do. You can rent this whole section out over there. They have a Ramada for a birthday party or whatever it may be for kids or maybe even for yourself. I don't know. <laughs> but they have a fitness center over here in the enclosed part. And uh, it's good for, they have some actually uh, classes for certain uh, fitness classes as well. So guys, this amazing place to belong to. And if you live in McDowell Mountain Ranch, you can literally ride your bike here or hike here or walk, walk here because McDowell Mountain Ranch is all about the outdoor activity lifestyle. So there it is. So this is more McDowell Mountain Ranch and we are, um, just giving some b-roll of the fields here is a soccer field that people obviously play a lot of soccer games at you got baseball fields over here to the left hand side and guys this is just a great area back here for youth sports okay so my kids personally play you know bas basically about everything soccer football basketball baseball and a lot of youth sports leagues are actually held right here in the back end of the desert canyon uh school area they're all most of it's all lighted and it's just a really uh really nice place that is actually packed on the weekends with activities they have some adult leagues too like an adult league soccer intramural soccer league is is right over there as well on sundays if you are into that uh, that sort of thing so here's some more fields here that play soccer on um, on the weekends for youth sports leagues and flag football leagues on the baseball fields and of course baseball on the baseball fields too that's kind of a given plenty of parking it's just a really nice place to uh, to, to live and to, uh, to come to, to enjoy with the kids or family for uh, outdoor activities. Um, Cafe a plat. Why don't, and there's prosciutto or something. And what's, I can't, these are all these French names. I just, I don't have the French. I can't roll the tongue. French, it's Italian. Oh my gosh. Is it Italian? Sorry, guys. Italian. Oh yeah, that was Italian. But I think this one's French here, and I cannot. Well, I have a hard time pronouncing this, guys. But we're going local. It's time for the KCI guys, local coffee shop. Here we go. In McDowell Mountain Ranch Cafe, a plat, a plot. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Let's go get some. Wow, this is cool. Look at all this. Look at this for like little kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. If my kids were little again, I would totally have my wife come here for coffee and hanging out with like other moms and small kids. This is awesome, guys. Look at this. What a great concept, right? Let's go figure out how to pronounce the name. Hello, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. Hey, we do, we do a little uh, um, YouTube channel for local coffee shops and places around town. So, um, how do you pronounce the name of this? Cafe Au Play. Au Play? Uh, yes. Oh, that, that makes sense. <laughs> they play with the little kids. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, so, it's French, right? Yes. Okay. Cafe Au Play. All right. So, um, we're here. So, the concept here is pretty cool, right? People can come here and just like hang out with little kids over here and... Yep. Yep, so we have our cafe and coffee shop here, and then we have um, almost all local things over here. And then we have a play area for kids. We have story time at 9, classes at 10. Um, <laughs> wow, that's yeah, so cool. Come. That was really cool. What a great concept. Um, so, okay, so we're on the hunt for, like, you know, some good coffee. So what do you guys hang your hat on here? What do you guys specialize in what do you like i think our most famous drink is the honeybee latte and it's lavender honey with oat milk <laughs> lavender what's yeah, up with you he, he hates lavender okay la no <laughs> love, no blossomly flowers or plants yeah. in my coffee i agree but yeah. that's our See? best seller <laughs> but she loves it I like okay so what is it a honey honeybee latte that sounds good you getting that yeah can i get a medium honeybee latte with what 
I'll take oat milk. She said with oat milk. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Milk. She's, <laughs> she's got oat milk. She's back on the oat milk train. She was off and she's back on. Okay. Um, so what else? I can't. I, I'm not doing that one. I gotta that's go different. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Um, what else would you suggest? Oh, there's the. Cardigan rose. He doesn't like any floral. No, she wants. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still have to work. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to work. Have you decided what you're gonna I'm gonna do the dirty chai latte got it. with oat milk. Yeah. So you so to have the best taste for the coffee, you'd recommend. Regular. All right. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go dairy. I'm gonna go cow. Uh, so dirty chai latte. No oat milk. I feel bad. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming in, guys. Okay, you're welcome. Absolutely. Let's go check it out. We're gonna we're gonna give the KCI index score here in just a second. So I know you're on the edge of your seat for Cafe Du Play. <laughs> oh, Cafe Au Play. Is it Au Play? Au Play? I don't know. All right, all right, guys. So we're at Cafe Au Play. It is completely French, and I butchered it like I don't know seven times. But they got it straight, and it makes sense because you got little kids play area. They have classes here. Guys, if you have little kids, she said they're open only eight to noon every single day, which is kind of interesting, right? Um, but they have something at nine o'clock. What was it? Some nine o'clock, they have classes at 10, right? You can come here and play and, and the moms can hang out with coffee and there's like a gate area. So the kids are like enclosed, right? They can't leave and wander out. Pretty cool place, pretty cool concept. So definitely support local and all the people that are making gifts to sell here too, all local vendors. So enough of the talk. KCI, here we go. This is a dirty chai latte with cow, not oat milk, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'll go back to oat milk next time. Ooh, I like that. That's good. It's almost like a, um, almost like a pumpkin uh, taste a little bit, right? But not pumpkin, but like sweet like that. Um, that's a nine. That is a nine. That is solid. And, and, it, and, and it's unbranded too. It's so local, they don't have their name on the cups. <laughs> All right, Sam, what do you got? You got a honey floral, something lavender. Yeah. Okay, ready? What do you got, Sam? <laughs> so this is a honeybee latte. It is a honey lavender latte with oat milk. So I got oat milk instead of cow milk. And I would say that, so it's pretty floral. It's probably the most floral latte I've ever had. I'm a big fan of honey lavenders, so I'd probably give it maybe an eight out of 10. It's very smooth, but the flavor is definitely there. So if you like honey lavender lattes, this is the place to go. You heard it here, guys. Hey, last time, she, she's like the Russian judge. She only gave the last, last place a seven, right? So an eight is high marks for Sam, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so we're gonna get out of here and give you, show you the rest of the phenomenal McDonald's Mountain Ranch. By the way, look, Look at the views out your window while you're drinking coffee. Beautiful. They're everywhere. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. So, again, we just left the coffee shop, and it's located in really one of the very few commercial, you know, areas within McDowell Mountain Ranch. It's a big master plan community, like I mentioned, that, uh, you know, has about 3,200 acres, but there's not a lot of commercial, which, you know, some people really like that because it's, it's more just about the lifestyle of living in the Sonoran Desert, okay? So as we pull out of here, we are gonna head south on 105th, okay? And we're gonna go down here towards the golf club at McDowell Mountain Ranch. So you'll see, you'll see the golf club on the right side here, or parts of it as we get a little closer to it. Um, on the left side, you have some gated communities. So you have uh, Cimarron Hills, you have, um, we just passed Cimarron Hills, over here you have the preserve. So up here, guys, you have some gated communities. Jeff Edmonds developed this area up here as the builder. Um, and then it's gated, which is nice. Now, if you're in a gated community, which there are several throughout McDowell Mount Ranch, you will pay an additional small HOA fee uh, here's another one called Desert Cliffs right there that is gated. You will pay an additional um, HOA fee in addition to the master plan HOA fee on McDowell Mountain Ranch. 
Um, but depending on where you're at, that will differ. Overall, the HOA fee is very affordable. You're gonna be somewhere in the ballpark on average, uh, paying quarterly, probably somewhere in the ballpark of about $380 a month to 400 bucks a month, somewhere in there on average, depending on where you are located. On the um, right side up here it was the preserve. You saw some more track homes, a little more affordable living over here. And then as you pass over this bridge here, you're gonna be able to see the golf club at McDowell Mountain Ranch. And look at the views of Camelback and Lummi Mountain you have. Oh my goodness. There's a clubhouse. We're going to pull in here so you guys can see it for a second. And there's the McDowell Mountain Golf Club. Now this is this is one of the owners of McDowell Mountain Golf Club is actually Phil Mickelson. I think you guys have heard of that name before. Um, he was part of the development team that transformed this golf club from the Sanctuary, which was the old name, into the current name of the golf club at McDowell Mountain. And what they did was they expanded the uh, fairways a little bit in terms of the width because they're very narrow prior to. This is a true desert course. And they um, made it more of uh, an inviting course with uh, um, being a little bit longer, but not as wide of fairways. So you hopefully don't lose as many balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, the golf club at McDowell Mountain Ranch, beautiful. So over here, guys, you have the restaurant, the covered patio, indoor-outdoor dining, right over here, which is awesome. You got the fire going. It's a brisk 68 degrees out right now, which is cold for us Arizonans or Phoenicians. And there's a driving range, which is beautiful. From the tips, in my mind, this is gonna go about 3.30 down the pipe. There it is. Yep, about 3.30. <laughs> Guys, I love shooting videos and, and educating people on everything Phoenix. I'm not gonna lie, I wish I was golfing today. <laughs> I really do. It's beautiful right now. So in McDowell Mountain Ranch, really it's all about the views. Do you have a, a view lot or even do you have a lot in which you back up to a desert wash? Guys, McDowell Mountain Ranch, obviously being on the side of a, a hill or a mountain, obviously you have to have the proper drainage with the engineering for rainwater runoff when it does monsoon and rain. So there are a lot of desert washes uh, running through McDowell Mountain Ranch. So if you have a lot that backs to one of them, it's a preferred uh, lot to uh, to have. Now, if you pan to the right here, Sam, right down through here, okay, see that gate right there, guys? That is, that gate leads to Talisian West, which is Frank Lloyd Wright's amazing house that he designed that is a tourist attraction to this day that attracts thousands of people to it every single year. People want to tour the the uh, Frank Lloyd Wright masterpiece called Talisee and West. That is just down that hill at the uh, foothills of the McDowell Mountains. We're at one of the top areas in McDowell Mount Ranch, looking down, and you can see the view right here, guys. Look at that. Looking down that hill. That's just outstanding. I mean, it's beautiful up here, it's super quiet. Now, 
up here you're going to have, I mean, down my ranch or any mountainous you know, neighborhood, you're going to have some wildlife, right? That's the cons. The, obviously, the pros are pretty obvious. Beautiful mountains, beautiful views, city light views, um, and quietness, security, all the whole nine yards. But again, with that, you're going to have some wildlife up here too. You're going to have uh, a higher likelihood of rattlesnakes, higher likelihood of scorpions, a higher likelihood of bobcats and javelina and coyotes and things of that nature. Now, the bigger ones, not that big a deal. But yeah, the, the snakes and the scorpions sometimes can, uh, they can freak some people out. But again, they're not as common as you would think. So that's the good news, okay? But you're just more in their environment. So the probability is a little bit higher. Listen, if you're in a bad mood, um, when you wake up in the morning for some reason and you drive down this hill going to work or whatever you're doing, I don't know how you could be in a bad mood anymore. Like this, how can you not look at all those beautiful mountain views and, and all this beauty, natural beauty, and just not be in a good mood? It is pretty cool. And I'm glad we have a chance to share it with you. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining us on our video of McDowell Mountain Ranch, an amazing community, I hope you would agree. And so if you guys could, comment below, what do you think? How good is it? On a scale of one to 10, would you give McDowell Mountain Ranch a 10 or a one? One being the lowest. What do you think? We'd love to hear your comments below. We will reply to you. And again, always check us out at our Instagram page, guys, at Kelly Cook Real Estate Group. Or you can call us at 1-888-KCREG11. That's 1-888-527-3411. Or info at kellycookhomes.com. But if you could, please smash that like button ring that notification bell guys because we are putting out videos twice a week every week for your education and hopefully entertainment and enjoyment and we would love for you to continue to support our youtube channel so we can bring more and more content to more and more people thank you guys very much for watching our video of mcdowell mountain ranch and don't forget call me